Welcome back to the show. Well, new research out this morning suggests many of us are putting in too many hours at work and not getting enough rest, and that could be doing you and your career more harm than good. Check it out. A recent Wall Street Journal report touting the benefits of a 4 a.m. wake-up call. Despite our predisposition against it, in fact, there's an entire TED Talk devoted to the nightmare of wakefulness at that hour. Did you ever notice that four in the morning has become some sort of meme or shorthand? It means something like, you are awake at the worst possible hour. <laughs> Today, half of us work more than 40 hours per week. Even though studies show too little sleep can make you less productive, less healthy, and less happy. Well, it's time now for the Mixed Grill with Ben Fordham and Shelley Horton. Big round of applause for these two today, eh? Oh, well, there you go. There you go. That makes me happy. Work-life <laughs> balance. I don't think it's ex it exists. Mm. I think it's an impossible dream. I think that uh, for most of us, like even a 40-hour week is a dream. Most of my career I've worked 70 to 80 hours a week and that's what you do to get ahead. Mm. And so something has to give and I think that that's okay for a while and then there'll be times when you have more balance and you can focus. Does it annoy you when other people people work fewer hours and that you have to, to pick up some of the slack? Uh, it's not so much fewer hours, it's more that when I have to work because I don't have children and they might have someone who's got a school play or mm. school sports on a Saturday and so I was rostered on to do those that's shifts. Why, that's why I decided to have children. Because so you I didn't have to work off. weekends anymore, <laughs> see? Because we have people like you who are able to do it for I us. reckon there are probably people out there who do feel that same way. Yeah, absolutely. And one time, like, I was rostered on to do a Friday night, and I'm like, but I've got a date. And a date did not have the same amount of kudos mm. as a school play or time with Nor children. Nor should it. No, how else are you going to get children if you don't <laughs> go on a date? <laughs> Thought, eh? The work-life balance has always been there, I think, Carl. It's yeah. just switching it up a little bit. The worry for someone like you is that they say that you should not be awake before 4 a.m. Yeah. Your alarm goes off at... 3.52 and 3 45, and 45 oh, seconds. So that's a bit of a problem, but I think it's always been there. Shows we just probably... <laughs> we pay more attention to it these days than we once did. That's little Jordan. <laughs> so Jordan was awake at uh, 3.30 this Aww. morning, just getting home from a club. <laughs> He looks like he was getting home from a Viking battle. <laughs> He's still That's pretending to be in his mum's belly. <laughs> There's not a lot of time to shave, you see, when you're working on this show. He's such a manly Everyone's too man. too busy. Look at that. Only a face a mum could love. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Right, I'm moving on. Inmates at maximum security bar and prison in Victoria are on strike, demanding better pay for their prison work. Shelley, jailbirds deserving a pay rise of about $2 a day, do you think? No. No, I Why actually not? don't have any problem with them being paid for the work that they do because that money actually goes into their account so that they can have some extras like some luxury foods, hire a TV or phone calls. That account can only ever get to $1,000. It can't be more than that. So I don't think they need much more money. If you want to encourage money. these people to rehabilitate, though, isn't this a good way of doing it? Look, I've been into Long Bay Jail, Carl, about three or four months ago. And the difference in there between the people who've got jobs, it's not a bad life. If you've got a job in there, happy days because you've got something to do each day. And the amount of industry that goes on in our jails these mm. days is extraordinary. Everything from, you know, when you're on an aeroplane and they get to the headphones and then when you hand the headphones in, well, then they go off to a jail and they get cleaned and they get sanitised and they get the earbuds put back on. They go back out to the flight. Flag making, bread baking, everything that goes on. Then you go into the sections where you're not allowed to have jobs which is the maximum security, and all you could think of while you're in there is get me the hell out of here mm. and back into the other part of the prison. Mm. If Nothing you're lucky to enough to be on. in a prison mm. and have a job in a prison, then I would just count your lucky stars that you're not in maximum security. And at the end of the day, they don't have to give you a job. They mm. don't have to give you an mm. opportunity. You're locked up as a form of punishment. So if you've got a job, just be happy with the fact that you're getting six bucks so an no, hour, eight no bucks an rise. hour. No pay rise. Oh, well, look, I'm not saying they shouldn't yeah. get one, but if there's, if there's enough money around, give them a pay rise. But I think that beggars can't be choosers, quite I frankly. I think if they decided not to play by society's rules by getting themselves mm. in prison, they don't get to have society's rules of striking for a pay rise. Well, as I mentioned before, we're very big in the big house. Uh, this show mm. and yeah. a, lot of, a lot of the people in the clink watching mm. us this morning. Uh, anything you'd like to say to them, Benny? No, I just wanted to wish them all the best of luck <laughs> with the rest of their time behind bars. And I hope that they make Work productive hard. human beings Work of hard. themselves. Mm. Re and if you ever bump into me on the outside, Big watch smile. yourself. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'll give you his email you know address, folks. That was like the least scary yeah. threat yeah. I've ever come across. Try and look down that barrel scary <laughs> like, like wow, Go that. On, give us like, a scary well, look. I apologise to the men and women. Give us a scary look. Scary as I can't look scary. Go on, I give us a scary look. Do I it. can't look scary. What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs>
Yeah. Can you say that anymore? Don't think you can oh say my that God. anymore. Let's go to the break. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. After the break, uh, we bring you new details on the 20-year-old mystery surrounding the debt.